that are done within hospitals. Uh-oh. How'd I get stuck here? Can't go back over there. Everyone's looking at me. Where do I go? I'm stuck. You got to see this video of Deborah Burks, who's a physician who's on uh, Trump's coronavirus team. And she somehow gets herself stuck kind of behind the big screen TV and does not know where to go. So in this video we're going to watch, it's unbelievable. I've never seen someone more uncomfortable than she is back there. And she doesn't know what to do. So we're going to watch this. It's pretty funny. And then I'm going to tell you the two possible things she could do and you could do if you're ever stuck in a situation like this before. And listen, I know she, she seems like a very pleasant lady. She keeps her composure really well. She's smart. She's a physician. But because she is on Trump's coronavirus team, I think it's okay to analyze her and break this down and point out what she could have done better so we all could learn from it. So watch some of these highlights of her like a deer in headlights not knowing what to do and then tell me, what would you do? If you were stuck right there, where would you go? Where would you stand? What would you do? And then I'll tell you the two best options and we'll break down which one of those two is actually Roots the best. of thousands of tests that are done within hospitals that are now currently not reporting. So I'm sure we're well over 2 million. Um, that Inspector General report was done with things, but clearly um, there was complaints by some hospitals of a backlog probably had sent out tests, and, and that is true. There were several days of backlog. Okay, some- it's tougher than it looks because she clearly walked over because she didn't want to block the screen because Trump's completely blocking the other screen. She wanted people to be able to see that, but you can't stand any further to the right to get away from the screen because there's other cameras there and that's where the stage ends. And the problem is the most important data is on the right side of that screen. So it's not like she could just stand there and kind of scrunch. So what are her two options? What would you do? So basically she thought she would just get out of the way of the screen and then she realized she's standing directly behind the guy speaking. So even on the zoomed in shots, she's in the back and she realized that she has no idea what to do. So what would you do? You're standing there right now. You realize you got trapped in the corner. What would you do? Okay, so here are her two options. Her first option is simply go back and stand in front of the screen. And then any time the speaker directly addresses the screen, then slide closer to the podium to show for 5, 10 seconds what they want to show. She could even point to it at the point, do a little Vanna white, and then step back, just kind of like Trump is doing. Now, the other thing she could do is just stand where she's standing, but just act like a boss. Just stand there like she's a cop behind the other guy, totally comfortable, no no tension on your face, just act like everything's normal. That is the best solution. Because if she stood there, I wish I I could give an example of this and show you what it looks like, but if she stood, just look like Trump standing right there, okay? He's completely blocking that other screen, But you probably didn't even think about that before I told you that because he's acting like it's totally normal. It probably isn't even registering in his head, to be honest with you. And so our attention isn't drawn to that. So if she would have just stood there completely calm and natural like Trump behind the guy, even though she's in a weird spot, it wouldn't have seemed weird. And so that is the best way to do this. Now, if you're trapped in a situation like that, let's say you're not part of the coronavirus task force and you're just at school or at work or with your family and you do something that's kind of questionable like this and you end up looking dumb and someone makes fun of you about it how do you react what if one of the what if one of the reporters i don't think they would have done this to her because she seems like such a nice lady but what if one of the reporters made fun of her and they're like oh you look like a real deer in headlights back there What could have she said? What would you say? Are you good at coming up with quick comebacks to stand up for yourself? Because the problem is when someone makes fun of you or puts you down or makes a joke at your um, expense, when you can't stand up for yourself, it not only makes you look bad and make your social makes your social value drop, but it makes you become known as an easy target. So more and more people are going to make you look bad and put you down because they know you can't defend yourself. So you got to learn how to stand up. It's not hard to do. It's easy to come up with a quick and witty thing to check the bully, put him in their place. Like if she did this to a reporter, put the reporter in the place. And now what's going to happen? The reporter's never going to try to make fun of her again. And neither are the other reporters because they don't want to take the risk of making uh, making themselves look bad because she cracks one out. So I've got another video here on YouTube that'll teach you how to come up with a quick and witty comeback when people try to make fun of you so you can put them in your place and confidently go into situations where you know people may make fun of you because you know you can handle yourself and come out of it looking good. You can click right here and I'll talk to you about it there now.